a webhook is a user-defined HTTP callback that can be used to notify other applications that an event occurred. In this video, we're going to trigger events from the Strapi CMS, and we're going to handle those events from an API implemented in Go using the Fiber framework. Remember to subscribe to the channel, and remember to like this video, and let's get started. These are all the available events that the Strapi CMS is going to trigger and is going to submit to the endpoints that we specify as webhooks. So every time that we create a new entry, it's going to trigger this entry.create event type. Something similar when we update an entry, it's going to trigger the entry.update event. And when we remove an entry, it's going to trigger the entry.delete event. Then it's going to trigger different event types when we publish or unpublish content. And the same happens when we upload new media or when we delete media or when we update an image or any other media content type. And these are some of the payloads that is going to submit and then we're gonna need to handle in our endpoints. This is the payload or the JSON structure for the entry.create event type. Here we receive what is the event that we need to handle or the event that is triggered by the Strapi CMS. This is basically when someone creates a new entry. This is the date and the time when this event was triggered. This is the model or the content type that was created. In this case, is using the address model. So these are the fields for that new address. This is the identifier, this is the city, and some other fields. And for the rest of the event types, is pretty similar. This is the payload for the entry.update event. This is the payload for the entry.delete event. And the same for the publish and the unpublish event. And here is the payload for the media create event with the name of the file, a hash associated to the image, the URL to access that image, the dates when the media was created and updated. And then let's see the payload for the media.update event. That is pretty similar. The name of the image, a hash, the size, the URL, and the same for the media.delete event. Okay, now let's set up a new webhook in Strapi. So we need to go to settings, webhooks, and we need to click here on add new webhook. And here we need to assign a name to the webhook. So let's say bands webhook. This name is because we are going to work with the bands content type. You can take a look at the previous video when we added this new content type. And here we need to specify what is the URL of the endpoint that is going to catch the events. So this will be HTTP, localhost, and the port will be 3000. And we are going to call this endpoint webhook handler. Okay, and here we can specify any additional headers that we want to submit along with the event. And here we can specify what are the events that we want to submit. So in our case, we're going to submit all the events. So we would select entry and we're going to select the create event, the update, delete, publish, and unpublish event. I'm going to save this webhook. And now let's take a look at the handler that is implemented in Golang using the Fiber framework. So this is really simple. I created this new Fiber application and I added this post endpoint where we specify what is the path or route where the Strapi events are going to be submitted. And here, this is the handler of those events where I am basically parsing the JSON payload that I'm going to receive from Strapi. And let me show you this struct that is going to represent that event or that payload that I received from Strapi. So basically I'm going to receive the event type in this field within the JSON payload. I'm going to receive the created at field and I'm going to receive the model that is actually the content type. So if we take a look at the Strapi documentation here, these are the fields, event, created at, and model. And then there is another field that is the entry. In our case, we're going to receive the entries of the content type bands. And here, this is the name of the attribute. 
that includes the different elements of the entry. If we take a look at the documentation, we can see here, for example, for this model address, we receive an entry and we receive all the fields of the address, ID, CD, postal code, etc. So if we go back, here we have the name of the band, the genre of the band, and the website of the band. And if we take a look at the content type bands that we added in Strap CMS here, we're going to see that the band's content type is going to include the name, the genre, and the website. OK, let's open the main file again. So after parsing the event payload, I'm going to basically print all the different fields that I receive within that payload. So I'm going to run the server and we're going to test this webhook. Go run main.go. Okay, so our webhook handler is up and running. So let's go to Strapi and let's submit some events and let's see how this application is going to show that data. So let's go to bands and first let's submit the create event by adding a new band. So I'm going to click here on add new band and this will be Metallica, genre will be metal and let's add the website www.metallica.com and I'm going to save this new entry and if we go back we're going to receive the entry.create event. As we can see here, we also receive the created at date and time, the model, that is the content type, that is bands. Here we have the entry name, that is basically the name of the band, the genre of the band, and the website of the band. Okay, now let's change something here and let's submit the update event. So let's say Metallica 02. I'm going to click on save. And if we go back, we're going to see that we are going to receive the entry.update event with the same data. And here is the field that changed. We added this number here. Let's say that we want to publish this data. If I click on publish, we are going to receive the publish event, as we can see here, entry.publish with the same data that we received in the previous event. And another way to quickly check that the webhook is working, we can go to settings, webhooks, so I'm going to click here on trigger and we're going to receive a sample test or a trigger test. As we can see here, this is the name of the event in that case, trigger test and the date. And then we don't receive any data as part of the model. Mm -hmm.